Remember your compassion, O Lord, and your merciful love, for they are from of old. Redeem us, O God of Israel, from all our distress. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon and welcome to Mass here at the Church of Adam and Eve, the Church of the Immaculate Conception, Merchants Quay. A special welcome to all those who join us on Facebook or YouTube or the many other platforms that are used. We're united in communion with the saints and in communion with Christians, with Catholics throughout the world. Today, we hear about the prophet Jonah, both in the first reading and in the gospel. You've often heard it said that the Bible is more like a library than a single book. And the book of Jonah is a quirky little book. It's full of humor and humorous situations. And the prophet Jonah himself is quite humorous. He's very reluctant. In fact, when he's asked by God to go east, he travels west. But after lots of adventures, he ends up where he is this morning, in the great city Nineveh, a pagan city. And to Jonah's big surprise, his message of repentance is heard by the pagans. And in fact, they respond better to the message of God than do the Jewish people. Even down to their animals, they decide to fast and to repent. And in the gospel then, Jonah is seen as a sign of the resurrection when after three days in the belly of the whale, he's coughed up and lives. So we're talking about the message this morning being that if we turn our lives around, if we are people who are attentive to God's will, then we live, we have a share in the resurrection. Let's pray now for open hearts and for healing and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You plead with us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Look, look kindly, Lord, we pray, on the devotion of your people, that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may, by the fruit of good works, be renewed in mind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city, and preach to them as I told you to. Jonah set out and went to Nineveh in obedience to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was a city great beyond compare. It took three days to cross it. Jonah went on into the city, making a day's journey, he preached in these words, Only forty days more and Nineveh is going to be destroyed. And the people of Nineveh believed in God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least. The news reached the king of Nineveh, who rose from his throne, took off his robe, put on sackcloth, and sat down in ashes. A proclamation was then promulgated throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his ministers as follows. Men and beasts, herds and flocks are to taste nothing. They must not eat, they must not drink water. All are to put on sackcloth and call on God with all their might. 
and let everyone renounce his evil behavior and the wicked things he has done. Who knows if God will not change his mind and relent, if he will not renounce his burning wrath so that we do not perish. God saw their efforts to renounce their evil behavior and God relented. He did not inflict on them the disaster which he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A humbled, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. A humbled, humbled, contrite contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man, it is the Lord who speaks, but in the turning back of the wicked man who changes his way to win life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The crowds got even bigger and Jesus addressed them. This is a wicked generation. It is asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of Jonah. Or just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with the people of this generation and condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to see and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the people of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. And so I invite you, wherever you are at home, to be seated and to just take some moments of silence. And in the silence to remember your own particular needs, but also to reach out in solidarity to those who suffer throughout the world. To pray for governments that they may be generous in helping poorer countries. Pray for all those who are at the forefront of protecting us all, whether they be involved in health care or in security, or the many other ways in which public servants help us. And we pray for the sick and for those who are alone at this time. It's in the silence. Keep them all in mind. We also pray for ourselves that we may be people who can endure the present difficulty, that we may be healthy, generous and hope-filled people. 
We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, what you have given to be dedicated to your name, that just as for our benefit you make these gifts a sacrament, so you may let them become for us an eternal remedy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kingdom. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We 
we proclaim the mystery of faith. Pro we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dermot, our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Francis and Clare, Saint Anthony and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
All who take refuge in you shall be glad, O Lord, and ever cry out their joy, and you shall dwell among them. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us unending life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before our final blessing, let's have our prayer for protection. O Mary, our Mother, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Enjoy the rest of your day and may God bless you.